Hey, it's Chad Hasty, host of the Chad Hasty Show. Today on the program, we've got a lot to talk about with 2016, the presidential race, 26 days away from Election Day, and it's getting nasty out there. Donald Trump promised to take the shackles off his uh, campaign CEO, Steve Bannon, saying that they're going to trot out more women uh, who had accused Bill Clinton of sexual assault, uh, and more than that, I'm sure. Uh, so that'll be interesting to see what happens there. Now, remember, the Clinton campaign did say that uh, a while back that if Donald Trump were to go down this road, that they would release stories about him. Looks like that's starting to happen. It may have started off as a decent day for Donald Trump as he still continued to attack Paul Ryan and Republicans. Then he started attacking Hillary Clinton, and then the headlines started coming out. First from the New York Times. Now, the next few headlines that I'm going to tell you about all came out within an hour of each other. So, coordinated? Yeah, I think so. Uh, three stories here. One from the New York Times. Two different women uh, say that Donald Trump touched them inappropriately. Uh, another story that was released, a Palm Beach Post uh, report saying that uh, a woman uh, from a woman who said that Donald Trump touched her inappropriately. And then a CBS News story where Donald Trump commented about a 10-year-old girl back in 1992. The story from CBS News in an Entertainment Tonight Christmas feature in 1992. Trump looked at it. I'm reading from CBS News here. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Donald Trump looked at a group of 10-year-old girls, 10 years old, 10-year-old girls, and said that he would be dating one of them in 10 years. Uh, the Trump, uh, the video released Wednesday evening was shot at Trump Tower. In the clip, Trump asked one of the 10-year-old girls if she is going up the escalator. When the girl replies, yeah, Trump turns to the camera and says, I am going to be dating her in 10 years. Can you believe that? <sighs> oh, boy. Okay, so three different stories here. And there might be more. By the time this video is published, there might be more stories. Um, I will say this about the New York Times story. I take with, um, um, I think you have to be critical uh, whenever you are 26 days away from Election Day and stories of sexual abuse, sexual assault start coming out. And I say that not to blame these women, not to, uh, uh, not to necessarily question them, but uh, Donald Trump has been a famous figure for a very long time. Why did this story, Donald Trump's been worth billions of dollars for a long time, why did this story not come out, I don't know, three years ago, four years ago, five years ago, six years ago? You catch what I'm saying? Uh, we're 26 days away from an election. This, this rubs me the wrong way. Um, it, it, it's, you've got you to really look at this with a critical eye, I think. With the New York Times, they published the piece. Um, who knows how far this will go? Does this tie in to Anderson Cooper and Anderson Cooper asking Donald Trump, did you ever do this? Remember, he asked Trump a couple of times, did you ever grope a woman uh, or touch a woman like you discussed in that video? Trump said no. Was Anderson Cooper, did he know about these stories and was he laying a trap for Donald Trump? It's possible. Uh, another thing that's possible here is the New York Times laying a trap for Donald Trump to go and attack these women instead of the New York Times. So far, the uh, Trump campaign has only attacked the New York Times. They have uh, vehemently uh, denied the, the allegations against Donald Trump. Donald Trump vehemently denied the allegations. Um, the story about uh, a former, former supermodel, um, the Trump campaign hasn't talked about that. Uh, but the story from CBS... That's going to disturb a lot of people. Uh, Donald Trump looking at a group of 10-year-old girls, the 10-year-old girls going up, the uh, ten, again, 10 years old, not, not, not 15, not 16 years old, 10-year-old uh, girls, and they're going up the escalator, and Trump says, I'm going to be dating one of them in 10 years. Okay, that's not really locker room talk. That's pretty creepy-ass talk right there, right? Um I, I don't know how you defend that. I really don't. I don't know what you do to uh, defend uh, that type of video there. It'll be interesting to see what Donald Trump does. But I'll tell you this. Um, if anything, it, it continues the narrative that Donald Trump doesn't respect women, that Donald Trump uh, is, is, a, is a creep, uh, and it continues to bring his numbers lower. Donald Trump's going to be rolling out some, uh, some women, uh, possibly, who have accused Bill Clinton of things. The interesting thing is here, so far that hasn't worked, that tactic, 
and I'm talking about for years, of Republicans rolling out women who have accused Bill Clinton of things, that hasn't worked as a campaign tactic. And there was a story that came out earlier that said millennials don't care what Bill Clinton did in his past. But, you know, I saw all these stories come out uh, about Donald Trump and women, and, well, I had to go and get one of my friends. Uh, yeah, this is a nice little bottle of Woodford, and, you know, we're 26 days away from the election, and Donald Trump's being accused of, oh, really all kinds of stuff. And I figure, you know, why not just toast to 2016, the worst election ever. Ah, so good. Have a great day, folks.